this is the weekly horoscope for Cancer for the week of January. Ay, January. What's up in January? For July 3rd, 2023. And we have the full moon today. And we can feel this energy for the next three days. The Lilith moon is conjunct with Volcanus, forming a kite energy, but Mars and Venus is not well aspected at this time. And the Lilith moon will be in Virgo um, in... Um, October 3rd, okay, because I think like the Lilith moon is like doing like a lot of stuff here at this time and it's like it's not cute. So Ceres is not well aspected with the first and fourth and seventh house. You may not be getting along with certain family members at this time. You can feel like family members are using you or you may not be getting along with landlord or property managers. I feel like you are um, being emotionally, um, you don't feel like you're being emotionally supported at this time I and you have the full moon in the seventh house so it's not the easiest time with your home life or your personal life this is a stormy time for marriages allow room for your partner to breathe and work out their differences later on you have a kite energy happening with the second house of volcanus with the lilith moon this can be a good time for business picking up this could be financial stability coming through you can be more conservative with your money relationships with superiors should be good elders may provide you with good financial advice or they could be financially supporting you at this time this is a time of progress or advancements towards any goals that you are after your approach to your routine is likely to be more practical and methodical than usual you may have advancements in your career or in your reputation at this time or you could get promoted to a more authoritative position then on Tuesday Mars is forming a yod in the ninth and second and seventh house. So this is potential energy that you could tap into at this time. This is, you have important conversations with other people. You may be scared to talk to certain people in your life uh, about certain things with this energy. You may have a difficult time opening up to others. For some of you here, something is bothering you now, but you're not saying anything. And it could be with another person. But instead of like talking about it, you're just keeping it more to yourself with this energy so this is going to create a lot of fight with certain people in your life and it even may change the dynamic of certain relationships in your life because you may have some trust issues going on with certain people in your life at this time you may not be able to confront the elephant in the room today with this energy or you could be ignoring others with this energy and being passive with your work or whatever emotional angst you are going through at this time you're just tolerating certain situations at this time um family members now this is like speak now or forever hold your peace you could be bottling up whatever is bothering you at this time and then you're going to release it later on or implode on I shouldn't say that word my bad or explode on somebody that's better <laughs> later on my bad that's my bad i don't know why i said that i don't know Oof. god dang it my bad um you may feel apathetic and lack enthusiasm or you might simply be more practical you can feel a connection with your fans for those of you who are on social media influencers you can be receiving fan mail you this can be a popular energy time for you you do benefit through those who are influencers or people in power or you can be having a fun time with your friends and family and you can be going on vacation you can be enjoying um being away from the monotony of your routine and having a break in your routine Wednesday this might not be a great energy time for some of you I do feel like for some of you here that other people would be trying to talk you into things that you don't want to do at this time I do feel like you can feel things very intensely so watch your emotional self here I would watch your emotional self at this time you're repressing certain situations and then you are releasing it on at the wrong time or you're repressing certain feelings that you do have at this time rather than exploring those feelings and it may cause you some mental health problems now with this energy it may even like it may whatever needs to come up at this time emotionally wants to be acknowledged but you're like repressing 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 through drugs or alcohol or you're self-medicating or just not wanting to talk about it with other people with this energy here so and kind of being passive aggressive and taking it out on other people for some of you here as well because you're hurting but at the same time you don't want to talk talk about your feelings this could be like with your partner this could be for some of you 
you being jealous about something that they did or did not do or you thought that they did because the Lilith moon here in Leo and Saturn in retrograde in Pisces makes us assume that things are actually happening but they're not happening so all is not what it seems at this time with this energy so be careful here because what Saturn in retrograde is doing with the quincunxing with the Lilith moon in Leo is just making you like deal with your own angst with your own part of ego that you need to repress but also you need to let go of it in a healthy manner through journaling therapy talk therapy or even talking about it with your friends this is something that you're gonna have to purge out of you and acknowledge that you are doing okay so this is like saturn in retrograde in pisces making you look at your own truth at this time so this is not the best time to go assuming that somebody's going to be doing something when they're not doing something okay then on Thursday you may not be getting along with important people in your life at this time you may not be getting along with landlord property managers or you're not getting your thank you at work you're not getting along with the co-workers this is an excellent time for career advancements or you could be getting your way when it comes to certain things at work for others of you you could be spending more time with family members after work a marriage relationship might end now because of inequality manipulation or betrayal infidelity could have been a factor um, you may need to be careful and be realistic about your spending at this time especially when you go with, out with friends and stuff like that don't buy for everybody with this energy here be careful with your gas money and where you go and stuff like that um, for those of you who are making that one new friend to stop gifting them at this time because you can't afford it with this energy here so that's what I'm seeing happening then on Friday not the easiest time for you emotionally because you want to see what you want to see and there's no telling you otherwise okay so you're going to see your truth in a matter for some of you this could be certain things may no longer apply in your life this could be this could be blow it up and build it back up again this could also be um for some of you here loss of goods through criminal activities so be careful of your purses don't leave nothing in the car at this time be careful of your person what you may have not lost um if you are the one if some crabs may be stealing it may not you may not keep it very long okay stay away from high crime areas your neighborhood may be um, dealing with problems with gangs or just children just being troublemakers your neighbors may not be trustworthy now or you may be like shopping going on a shopping spree for yourself this is wasteful spending um, for some of you here this could be an interest in science and the latest and greatest in technology or you're having technology logical issues at this time something unusual is happening to change your beliefs travel could be exciting your boss or employer may be impressed with the way you are improving or how efficient you're being around the office or by your innovative way of thinking work smarter not harder you're quite resourceful and you could be jerry-rigging things to make them last longer even though you should buy something new okay um, events take place that allow you to a more personal freedom I feel there could be some unexpected opportunities coming up you may value your freedom and assert your independence more during this time period so for some of you you could actually be trying to move out of your parents house or trying not to be you're trying to be more self-reliant at this time okay okay all righty so let's see what the cards are saying and i'm using a new deck oh my gosh i love this deck i really connect with this deck um so yeah um this is let me see this is the in, the global fusion intuitive tarot i love the pictures on here even though my only complaint like for timeless is death but i call it it's called timeless and then they got one called revelations i don't know why that's there it's like basically like a temperance card but i guess like a more like they want it to be like more like a kundalini kind of thing but i like the pictures okay um yeah so they try, i don't know what this person was trying to i don't know what this person was thinking but i like it but it's like you know to each their own but i like it i love the colors look at this this is a knight of wands okay this is moving forward this is new beginnings this is new people coming into your life at this time with this energy as well the seven of wands i feel like you have an easier time converting other people over into your thoughts for some of you if you are part of 
um, a team. You could be in a leadership position with a team at this time, and you could be speaking for the team. This could be, um, for some of you here, lecturers, and you could be giving a lecture on something at this time, or you could be teaching a class with this energy. The Queen of Cups, go with the flow at this time. You can be delving more into your spirituality this week with this energy. The Magician card, as above, so below. Be careful. You could be dealing with a liar or a manipulative person, or for some of you here, you could be dealing with chargebacks at this time with this energy. So be careful on, I think, um, Wednesday or Thursday, the moon in Aquarius. Be careful with that. It's not well aspected. So you could be dealing with chargebacks um, with this energy, and especially if you have a stellum in your 12th, in your 8th house. So be careful with that. The Seven of Cups. I feel like there's some wishful thinking going on at this time, or you're trying to manifest something in your life um, during this time period as well with this energy. For some of you, you can be delving more into your spirituality at this time. You could be a spiritual teacher or you could be visiting a spiritual a spiritual teacher as well or looking for a guru with this energy. For answers, the Nine of Cups, my yes card for whatever question I did not answer is yes with this energy here. So this is fulfillment, this is happiness at this time with this energy. This is your cup being filled with this energy. Energy. The High Priestess card, trust your intuition. Again, you're dealing with somebody who is trying to talk you out of your money or you're dealing with somebody who's being very manipulative at this time with this energy. You could be dealing with like a love relationship and the partner could be emotionally manipulative um, towards you or trying to control your situation in some kind of way, form or shape. Um, but at the same time, this could also be you. There's power struggles going on with relationships at this time is what I'm seeing with this energy. The Ace of Coins, aren't these cool? This is creating your own reality with this energy. This could be more money coming in. This could be getting a job at this time. This could be manifesting what you want at this time with this energy as well. The King of Swords. I feel like for some of you here, I hear concentrate at this time. So you may have something important or something new coming into your life that you're going to have to put all your energy on during this time period. I feel like you could be given more responsibilities um, during this time period. For some of you here, be realistic about those deadlines especially if you own your own business be realistic about um, certain deadlines that you're trying to make with other people because I feel like this could be leading back to chargebacks and it's because you didn't complete something on time and then it's going to be like a situation oh it's going to be a situation where you didn't complete something on time and then they are going to charge uh, they're going to take their money back because you didn't finish it on time and that's going to be their excuse oh that's so shady I hope that don't happen. I feel like this is also competitive time for you um, with business, with this energy as well. Or you could be feeling the need to compete with other people at this time. So be careful. Don't bring your brain there. Don't get jealous of other people or what they're doing. Stay focused on what you are doing because everybody is going through something. I'm going through something. Don't come for me. I'm emotionally spent. Okay, I'm going to be like, I'm going to just lie there and just take it like a bitch and just be like, I hate my life, but okay, whatever. You know, avoid confrontation. Exactly, exactly. You're emotionally spent. I'm emotionally spent. Just stop it, okay? Just stop it. Avoid the drama if you can at this time is what I'm feeling and hearing, okay? It's not worth it, all right? The seven of coins, I feel like this is like wishful thinking going on or this is like talks of future, future, future at this time or for some of you, try not to read closely into what people are doing or not doing at this time. Not the best time to go assuming with this energy here. I feel like there's gonna be like a lot of like because we have a quince hunting this week with the with Leo and Pisces and Neptune in retrograde there's going to be a lot of like reading into certain situations at this time and we're going to be assuming with this energy for some of you not the best time to go relying on your intuition because somebody is lying to you at this time is what I'm picking up as well and not giving you the whole story and they're kind of like like breadcrumbing you you know i mean if you feel trust trust your intuition yes but at the same time you know i don't know if you don't trust the person then leave that person alone you know like i don't trust my ex-husband so i leave him the way the hell alone 
Okay, because if I can't trust you and I feel like I always catch you in lies, you got to leave me the way the hell alone. Okay, I'm not going to do nothing, but just leave me just leave me alone. Like, leave, let sleeping dogs lie, you know, just leave her alone. Don't bother me. Don't talk to me. Don't do nothing. Don't have nothing to do with me, you know? So that's the way I feel about it, you know, but things happen. I feel like for some of you here, this could also be abundance on its way with you. For you with this energy again manipulative person somebody lying to you at this time why you always lie why you always lie i feel also there's going to be an exchange of words you could also this could be like some nasty um you know in the great in the you know just be careful pick and choose your battles with other people because everything is cause and effect but i do feel like there's going to be some like, nasty ch exchanges of words here at this time so some of you could be really getting into it with other people during this time period the page of cups okay so for some of you here this could be dealing with um a new love relationship or you have a second chance with somebody at this time um this could be like somebody that you have a crush with and you have like this opportunity to talk to this person at this time for some of you this could be dating and you're going to do things differently um the second time around with this energy so i do see dating coming up for some of you for others of you this could be um your old job calling you back to see if you want to come back and work for them with this energy as well but for some of you here this could be having like a falling out with with an old friend and an old friend comes back into the picture with this energy so it's up to you what you want to do with that energy but i do feel like you're going to give this person a second try and you two may do things differently or this time you may acknowledge like the elephant in the room or you guys could be a little bit more open with each other in regards to what went wrong and then have those conversations okay the fool card an adventure in love is happening for some of you and then those of you in your teens i feel like your your parents don't like this person for you or this could be an ex coming back in the picture and your parents don't like this person for you okay so people don't like the person that you're bringing bringing into your life at this time with this energy for others of you i do see like you have wisdom to share with others for others of you i see see a hopeful resolution coming up so yes there is a reconnection with somebody from your past that you had a falling out with that is coming back into your life to have a conversation with you at this time and you're going to try to do things differently this could be again the ex coming back but not a lot of people are going to be happy that you're coming back with this energy as well um so know that for some of you here um i don't feel like you're like really relying on your intuition at this time okay or you want to see what you want to see at this time so this could be like reading cards for yourself and the cards are not telling you the best things right now so you could be um not like really delving into into your intuition or you could be ignoring your intuition during this time period because you want to see what you want to see so this could be like with a love relationship and you could be trying to read yourself at this time and it turns out like the cards are like saying you know stop danger will robinson danger and you're like but i love them so you need to go through your own emotional process at this time and you need to deal with this situation on your own because this is part of your tacoom okay so you're not trusting your intuition at this time so you need to go you know you need to go and have this experience for your soul correction is what it is so you have some big you may have some big lessons coming up or this could be like a little lesson coming up for you you know but you know crabs have a different time because because of their emotional attachments you have a difficult time leaving a situation you want to give other people the benefit of the doubt with this energy you know and then you get burnt you know and you're gonna see what you're you're gonna experience what you're gonna experience and you're gonna even if your intuition or your dreams are saying danger will Robinson danger you're still gonna do it I do see emphasis on manipulation going on as well so be super careful this week with this energy the justice card major decisions are coming up for some of you, you can be dealing with court. You may not be on speaking terms with certain family members with this energy here, or this could be dealing with court, and court could be a long process with this energy for some of you as well. Um, let me see. This could also be a time of destiny. The world works in your favor this week with this energy as well with this energy. So know that. Beautiful time for that. I feel like you are battling a manipulative individual. You may have to slow down your reactive self and kind of step back away from the situation so you can kind of get a better grasp of what is going on. Okay. Um, but I do feel like for some of you, you're going to be in court for a little 
for a little while longer, okay? So court could be postponed and they could be reconnecting their dates. I do see an intense connection with someone around you. I'm hearing this is like your favorite person. Aw. So, yeah, I do see that happening for some of you here. Um, so I do see um, for some of you here crushing on somebody at this time with this energy. The moon card, I feel like for some of you here, truth will be revealed to you with this energy or it could be a situation here where you could feel more of connection with source energy so this could be also epiphanies coming up for you as well with this energy and trying to be about bigger picture and then for some of you you are being about bigger picture at this time isn't she pretty and then this could also be um for some of you you see what you want to see when it comes to love relationships at this time as well with this energy okay but there's definitely as i connect i feel like there could be also some kind of psychic connection going on between the two of you as well with this energy the nine of coins the focus can be on family this week as well with this energy here um during this time period i do feel like for some of you here this is new beginnings happening for you as well the king of wands you can be dealing with somebody that's stuck in their ways of thinking and doing things and you may not be getting along with this person during this time period or you could be tolerating this person with this energy i feel like this is a fire sign and you two could be kind of like butting heads or since you don't like to be confrontational this person wants you to confront and deal with your feelings instead of like pussyfooting and then being like no 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 it's okay it's okay it's okay but you're mad as hell anyways but at the same time you're not saying anything which is not good okay for some of you i feel like things are definitely being kept hidden from you for the time being okay so somebody needs to reveal their truth be careful with master manipulators in your life okay because somebody is breadcrumbing you or leading you on or making you think that there's something there when there's something not there okay so i would be careful with this person and who you're dealing with forewarned is forearmed okay you don't have to like do anything but because you're not done with this process and you're not done dealing with this person but just you know be aware be conscious of like you know this all is not what it seems okay there's definitely stuff going on here that you are not willing to see or wanting to see at this time because it's your emotional process and i don't blame you for some of you this person could be your muse with this energy here as well and can make you feel very creative with this energy here um then you have the ten of coins i feel like there's an emphasis on money coming in this could be like a raise or a promotion happening for some of you for some of you this could be remodeling your house dealing with interior design for others of you a great time for writers with this energy for some of you here this could be a job interview at this time for some of you this could be a new love interest but i feel like this person is this is like dating okay so this person is just seeing you and getting to know you and seeing like if you two mesh you know this person could have kids so they could be like a little bit protective of their child or their children there we go this is called let me see what the hell this is number 20 this is called revelation so this is ascension um be open to receiving messages at this time from spirit world of course this is awakening for some of you you could be getting baptized and being born again this is epiphanies happening so this is like the high priestess card with the ace of swords okay there's a lot of clear, um, clarity word of wisdom coming through at this time so you may need to listen to your own advice at this time the five of swords with this energy i feel like you need to keep your good to yourself at this time and keep your cards to yourself you know and keep your feelings to yourself and don't reveal well yeah lack of communication okay so there's a lack of communication going on but for some of you don't share everything about yourself at this time to other people because other people just see other people see what they want to see in you and you could be going through it and they're not very sympathetic about it okay i feel for some of you here you're going through it emotionally but everybody sees your blessings somebody thinks like you're even rich or well off or you got your stuff together and they're holding on to you tightly so i would be careful with this person okay um i wouldn't talk or show off your stuff around this person because they're not going to steal from you but they really really do think like you're financially well off like you can afford it and it's going to be a situation where they're going to lead you down a rabbit hole where they're going to have you spending every Everything, 
okay? And then you're going to regret your decision, okay? So be careful with this energy. I do feel like for some of you, people tend to dance to your own tune. So you have a lot of influence over other people. This is a great time for those of you in media and social media. I see dating at this time. I do see a new love coming into your life with this energy here. I do see you starting a new creative project during this time period. The Page of Wands. For some of you, I do feel like you could be having a crush on somebody at this time, but you can be keeping it a secret for now. Or for some of you here, this could be you having... Um, a secret relationship with somebody and you're just getting to know this person so you don't want everybody else to know them just yet with this energy here and then for some of you this could be the ex coming back with this energy or somebody that you had a crush on and that your partner knew you had a crush on and now that person's coming back into the picture the three of i don't know what the hell are you oh three of wands this is a time of moving forward and um looking back but i'm hearing not looking back so for some of you you could be moving forward and i feel like some of you i don't know what's going on here maybe my older crabs but you could be like really like moving on with your life like f it blah, leave the trash here and then move okay the six of swords traveling a move okay so traveling happening moving forward through the grief with this energy as well and just keep trotting through the night of oh goodness which one's this let me see. It looks like the Knight of Swords, but it might be the Page of Swords. Hold on one second. I got to figure my life out. Okay, so Kate, that might be the Knight of Swords. Yeah, okay. The Knight of Blades, the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like for some of you here that this could be making some fast moves at this time. I feel like you could be quickly picking up and leaving a situation behind with this energy like you could find new love or something's gonna happen where you just quickly move on from a situation and you're like forget about it i'm done all right so you're like over certain situations in your life i feel like you have one foot in the door and one foot out the door as i connect with these energies all righty show your love and support to your girl marie by liking subscribing and sharing and thank you for everyone who has kisses